Hello guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video guys, we will learn about the differences between needle walls and ball walls. We will learn what is a needle wall, what is a ball wall, what are their uses in industries and how these walls are different between two of them. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin our today's video and learn about the differences between these two walls. So guys, before starting the video, let's see what is a ball wall. Ball wall, as the name suggests, it is having a ball that is used for on and off of the flow. A ball wall is having a hole at the center and this ball is indeed connected with this handle. When this handle is rotated, this ball also gets rotated and indeed in the center hole also gets rotated. When the when the center line of this hole is matching the center line of a pipe, then the flow will be going inside the wall and the wall will be in open condition. And when the center line, when the hole is not matching with the center line of the pipe or it is in the opposite direction, the ball wall will be off, off in the flow. So this is the basic system how the ball wall works. Moving on to the next, guys, what is a needle wall? Needle wall, as, we na as the name suggests, it is like a needle. A needle which is used for stitching the clothes in our houses. A needle wall is basically, uh, it's a, it's basically a wall from the plunger walls family, and they are used for regulating, for regulating process of the flow, and indeed they are also used as on and off of the flow. So guys, this this needle wall is having this handle, and this handle is attached with this spindle or stem. So these walls are very smaller in size, and because of this the spindle moves very small when the when it when the handle is rotated in 360 degree so this this due to this the precision in flow is obtained these walls are used not only as the regulating walls or as the uh, control walls but also because of their smaller size these walls are used as positive shutter walls so these walls are used in dual characteristics and whenever we require the precision of flows, specifically in pharma industries or in industries where there is hazardous flow, is the hazardous fluid is flowing through, or the precisional requirement of measurement is there, we use these needle walls. So moving on to the next slide and seeing the what are the differences between these two walls. So guys, what is uh, the differences between these needle walls? Basically, these all these are not differences. The, the, this is a comparison between both both, both the walls. So on, um, starting from the needle wall, a needle wall can be simplistic as a ball wall. Why as a ball wall? Because it can be used as an on-off wall as I already mentioned you. And however, or add-on of this wall is that it is used for a variety of systems where we want to control the flow or regulate the flow. While ball wall is basically primarily used for as a uh, in a system for on-off of the flow. But some operators may use it as the regulating a wall because they don't rotate the handle or ball completely uh, they just keep it they just uh, they just half rotated and so because of that uh, action the wall turns as a regulating flow wall but it is not recommended to use the ball wall as a regulating wall or a control wall the basic purpose or the service for which ball walls should be used is on off only Moving on to the next, uh, there is this small passage between uh, the seat and the needle. So they are used for low flow rates. The needle walls are generally available in very smaller sizes. But ball walls, on the other hand, we can use them up to four inch of sizes. So guys, you have to tell why ball walls are not used greater than four inch. There is a specific reason because of that above four inches, we either go for uh, need, uh, we either go for gate walls or for globe walls where we want to control the flow. But ball walls are generally used, let's say up to the service of DN100 or up to the, uh, up to the pipe size of four inches. The spindle is rotated uh, 360 degree to close and open the wall. As I already told you, the spindle is rotated. These, uh, these walls are used as the, uh, as the gate walls are used. In gate wall also, the hand wheel is rotated in 360 degree to on and off the wall. Similarly, this uh, spindle in this wall is also rotated 360 degree to on and off the wall. Because of their smaller size, uh, it is already it is also very difficult sometimes to tell whether the valve is closed or open if we are not seeing it from very near. 
while the ball walls these are also known as quarter turn walls so quarter turn walls the handle when it is rotated in a quarter turn or in 90 degree so the wall gets uh, either in on position or in off position while so to make the wall, needle wall on or off we have to rotate the needle uh, we have to rotate the spindle in 360 degree needle walls are precision walls as uh, i'm telling it you from the starting of the video and these cannot be uh, this cannot be the in, the in this wall the quick opening and closing cannot be used because we have to rotate the handle 360 degree while ball walls are used where quick opening or quick closing is required because there is only quarter turn of the handle is required to be done and the wall can be open or closed one more thing i want to tell you which i have not mentioned here the needle walls and ball walls both are used as root walls in instruments but in precision industries or where the system is uh, very complicated or the or we don't want any unprecisional uh, reading from our instrument we go for needle wall otherwise in normal systems like in water services or where there is no known hazard systems the root walls uh, may be ball walls so this is also one of the differences between your needle wall and a ball wall moving on to the next so guys here i have just jotted down major, major parts of the needle wall and ball wall so in needle wall as i already told you there is a hand wheel very small hand wheel is there uh, this hand wheel is again attached with your spindle or stem and this stem uh, moves up down when this hand wheel is rotated and indeed the wall gets open or close and if it is in between the in between it is used as a regulating wall so one more thing this walls you, you can see there the flow in this walls is changing the direction so in this walls there is a considerable loss of pressure or loss of frictional loss because the flow is changing its direction as compared to ball wall while in ball wall the the flow comes in line in the in line the wall comes in line with the pipe center so there is no change in the direction of flow hence there is less frictional loss as compared to your needle wall and in ball wall there is just this handle this handle is as i told you earlier this handle is connected with this ball and this ball is having a central a central hole inside when we rotate this handle the ball also rotates and when the cent when the hole of the ball is in line with the hole of the pipe the flow through goes through it and the valve is in open condition or vice versa so when the hole uh, is in opposite direction the flow gets restricted and the valve is closed so guys these are the major parts of the ball walls and needle walls i hope you guys would have learned something from today's video so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so thank you for supporting us and watching the video